In this video, I want to give you an overview of DV. Okay, so once you've activated your theme, if you scroll down here on the left uh, panel, you will notice that you'll have DV. So what you want to do is you want to go to theme options. This is where you upload your logo. And then if you scroll down here, this is where you can uh, upload your favicon. And um, I don't normally enable or disable any of these i just leave these as they are now if you want to go into email marketing you can uh, using mailchimp this is where you'd come and um, add your api so when you create your forms or your sign up forms it's automatically connected and then on the bottom here this is where you have aweber okay so um this is where you'll add your social media links so this is where you would add your custom CSS, but I don't normally use this part. So once you've added all that information, all you have to do is to click save. Right, so let's move on to what you see when you start using DV. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a page. So I'm going to click on add new. So straight away, you see uh, this use DV builder. So there's two ways to do this. So um, let me just title this page test. And then I'm going to activate use Divi Builder. So if I do that, there's two options you could do. You could build this page from scratch by yourself, or you can actually load the pages from the library. And this actually gives you a very good starting point. So if I load from library, you, uh, you get a list of options. Do you want to build a basic page, a homepage shop, portfolio, and so on? So let's take a look at a few of these examples and see how they look like. So I'm going to start off with homepage basic. So I'm going to click load. And then straight away, you can see we've got, we've got all these elements added onto it. So I'm just going to click on publish and then view the page. So I'm going to come up here and then click on view. Right, so this is the page that Divi has put up for us. So it's a basic page but this is a very very good starting point especially if you're working with uh, projects that have a deadline you can just go in there and just edit this text and change it to your text and let me show you how to do that so say you've decided you've decided that this is the uh, layout you're going to go with and by the way you can move things around by just dragging like this what you can do now is if you need to edit the slider you just click on module settings so here you click in there to uh, change this heading. So instead of saying welcome to my website, let's just change this to here I am. So you can see the difference. You can go ahead and upload your image, but we're not going to do that yet because we're just doing quick updates. So here's a cool trick uh, that Divi has added. You can also do a preview by clicking this eye icon. So you see, here I am. So that is updated. So we can go ahead, save and exit. And then once you've clicked that button, all you have to do is now to come up here and click update. So now, if I view this page, you can see that I've already made that change. So you can go ahead and edit all this text and all that text that's up here. And that'll be a very good starting point for you. Let's clear this layout and try another one. Okay, so say the page that you're trying to build is a maybe a, um, a sales page. So if we scroll down here, you can see we've also got a sales page. So I'm going to click on Load, Update. And our layout is going to be updated using the sales page. So here is where you can upload your image for the product that you're selling, the product description, and then if you scroll down here, this is where you have your, um, your features and the pricing. How cool is that? I mean, you also have your pricing, your pricing table all built in for you. All you have to do is to go in and change the contents to suit whatever you're selling. And if you don't like one of the sections, like say for example, this don't be shy bit all you have to do is to come back here scroll all the way down and that obviously that obviously that's the call to action you press this x and then we've got rid of it 
So all you have to do now is to click on update. And then now if I refresh this page and scroll all the way down, you'll see that it's gone. Okay, so this concludes our first part of the video.